So after eight days, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I overstated it. You know, maybe the censorship, the distortion of the facts, the lying, the massive deception machine I've been a part of for 33 years now in the media, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. And then someone tries to shoot Trump again. <laughs> um, I was here, actually the last time someone tried to shoot Trump, I was here in this room. Um, and now I'm back again, two days after. And I, I am shocked watching the lying in real time. Shocked. It was, was it two days ago? And all of a sudden we're getting these reports. I call in there and get all the facts. And then I thought, you know, what are they saying in the media about it? So the first thing, if you tuned in, that you learned was um, that he was shot by a Trump supporter, which totally makes sense. The guy loved him so much, he you know, brought a rifle to the golf course and tried to murder him. I mean, that's kind of the way it works. It's like Putin blowing up his own natural gas pipeline. That makes sense. <laughs> totally. He's so evil, he's attacking himself. Right. Self-harm being like <laughs> sort of the natural. Um, and I'm, I'm watching this. They're literally telling me that this guy whom they've arrested is a Trump supporter. Huh?